that writing and reading are so intertwined that they essentially grow out of each other continuously. And when we have our scholars work within the margins and work within the margins using hypothesis, we're able to actually highlight that phenomenon and show that your reactions, your connections, your conversation with this text is very similar to the way in which you communicate with your friends when you're talking about something, you're listening, but you're not just listening passively, you're listening actively where you respond to what they're saying, you do a WTF or you, you freak out or whatever the case may be, but you are literally responding in real time to the words that are coming out of their mouths. And I think actively reading is something of that nature on the page and now on hypothesis, it's something of that nature in a shared forum where we can all sort of react similarly and then react to each other's reactions continuously. And the more there's on the page, the more marvelous the experience can be because now we're no longer living in black and white or grayscale. We're actually living in a multifarious environment that is just seeping with colors and, and perspectives and ideas from which we can find certain angles or certain connections or certain branches with which we identify completely, not so completely, partially, or we don't identify at all.